Okay, so what I ended up doing, because I wasn't able to get this piece on with these pieces of aluminum underneath it properly, I ended up cutting it right here. It was already split there anyway from where I kicked it open, so I just cut it on the other side. Then I put it on the end and I just gradually pushed it down and tapped it down with the hammer as I held the aluminum in place with my hand and I was able to get both sides of the aluminum under it. Um, this board uh, that was in the bottom of the door here, as you can see, it's quite, it's quite rotten. So I took it out, I replaced it with this one. Um, cut that and put it in. There's more rotten stuff from inside the door. It's all waterlogged. Now what I'm gonna have to do next is I'm gonna have to get my um, my other piece of aluminum, wherever I put it. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Yeah. It's right here. There we go. It's got to go on the bottom again. So it's got to go on here. Once I get it on, hopefully I'll be able to push it on without too much trouble. Once I do that, then... I'm going to put screws in it right up along the frame on both sides into the into whatever's left of the wooden frame of the door and I'm going to do the same along here I'm going to put screws into it and basically hopefully that'll reinforce it quite a bit and then I'll have to bend it back into shape so that it'll actually fit in my door frame and there won't be any gaps to let mosquitoes or cold air in so that's what's happening anyway. I move Rocky over into the shade. Whenever I'm finished this, I'll let him out. There he is right there. He's a beautiful boy. He's got his, his tails out anyway. But yeah, quite a cat anyway. Love this little guy and I don't want anything to happen to him. And that's why I, that's why I do that because he tries to go into the woods over here. And his sister, Muella, was killed the second day we were here, back in those woods. In fact, she's buried right over here. I put her food bowl, I put her food bowl on her grave as a marker. That's where she's buried. Poor little black and white cat. You know, she looked like a, she looked like a cow. That's why I called her Muella. Muella. Anyway, she was killed right back in there. I found her body back in there the next day. Her head had been taken off. We figure a fisher did it. That's what I've been told anyway, is that it was probably a fisher. And I don't want him going back there and getting the same kind of treatment. So, for anybody who wonders why I'm the way I am with him, that, that's the reason anyway. I'm not trying to be cruel. It's just that I'm really afraid for his safety. Anyway, I'm going to go back at this. The sooner I get it done, the sooner I can let him out and... Give him my undivided attention while he runs around free. Talk later.